Today we are going to complete the equation with sums up to 1,000. The question is asking us to fill in the missing number. Well, addition and subtraction are related. So when we look at blank plus 15 equals 20, we can use our scratch pad to rewrite this as 20 minus 15 equals blank. So 20 minus 15 is equal to five. So five plus 15 equals 20. Let's close our scratch pad, add that five, check our answer, correct, let's move on. The next one says one blank plus one equals five. So let's use that scratch pad. And again, we can relate our addition sentence to a subtraction sentence. Five minus one equals something. Well, if I have five ones, I take away one one, I'm gonna get four ones. So let's see if four plus one equals five. It does. So let's close, let's type in four and double check. That's right. Here we are again, fill in the missing number. Something plus 11 equals 25. So our numbers got a little bit larger on this one, but we can still apply the same concept. Let's rewrite our addition sentence as a subtraction sentence. 25 minus 11 equals something. So let's start in our ones place. Five ones minus one one is four ones. Two tens minus one ten gives us one ten. So it's 14 plus 11 equal to 25. One, four ones, one one, five ones, one ten, one ten equals two tens. Yep, so let's type that in. Check our answer. Correct. Now let's fill in the missing number. We have something plus 17 equals 24. If you're thinking we should rewrite this as a subtraction problem, you are correct. Let's write this as 24 minus 17 equals blank. And if I want, instead of having to subtract, I could easily just count up. So if I'm at 17, I need three more to get to 20 and four more to get to 24. So three plus seven is going, or three plus four is going to give me seven here. So we could write, seven. So seven plus 17 equals 24. Let's close, add that seven, and let's move on. This one's a multiple choice, um, which kind of helps us a little bit see if the answer we come up with is one of the answer choices. So let's fill in the missing number. Something plus 21 equals 26. Let's rewrite it. 26 minus 21 equals something. Well, six ones minus one one, five ones, two tens minus two tens, zero tens is five. One of our answers here, it is. So let's see if five's correct. Awesome job. Here we're filling in the missing number. We're gonna use that scratch pad and rewrite this. 24 minus nine equals something. So if you are getting stuck on this subtraction problem, I like to count up. So nine plus one gives us 10. If I'm at 10, I can say 10 plus 10 is 20. And 20 plus four equals 24, so I got to the number that I needed to. Now I wanna take all these add-ins here and see four plus 10 equals 14, plus one equals 15. So this number would be 15. 15 plus nine equals 24. So let's double check that. Let's see if 15 is one of our options. Aha, there it is. Awesome. 16 plus something equals 19. 
We could very easily rewrite this one as a subtraction problem, but you might be getting the hang of it. 16 and 19 are pretty close in number here. So 16 plus something else, I'm gonna count in my head, 16, 17, 18, 19. Well, that's three. So let's see if adding three gives us the right answer. It does. Now we're at one plus something equals 28. Let's use that scratch pad. 28 minus one equals what? Well, 28 minus one, the number right below 28 is 27. So let's check. Oh, there it is, 27. Nine, we're filling in the missing number again here. So nine plus something equals 13. So if I have nine plus something equals 13. So nine, or I can do 13 minus nine equals what? Well, I can count up again, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That would be four. So nine plus four is 13. Let's close out of that, hit four. Last one, five plus something equals 11. So let's use 11 minus five and see what we get. Well, five plus five equals 10 and 10 plus one equals 11. So let's add these add-ins here. Five plus one equals six. So let's close our scratch pad and find six. Whoop, there it is. Nice work. I think we have figured out how to complete the equation.